Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at the Free Guild Fusiliers. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. Free Guild Fusiliers take aim and fire on the enemies of Sigmar, marching out into the magical plains of the mortal realms to reclaim abandoned territory in the name of the God King Sigmar. Sounds great. See the realms. Meet new and interesting people. Go down in the annals of history. Sadly, the Dawnbringer Crusades are not quite such a jolly holiday. As these lands happen to be infested with the savage marauders, reaving armies, and roaming hordes of demonic brutes. That's why the cities of Sigmar are packing some serious firepower to slay the vile enemies of order, or at least to keep them at a comfortable distance. Alright, so right off the bat, these things are awesome. So they basically have like a portable shield with a gun built into it. And various degrees of gun too, because we see, yeah, that's like a three barrel, almost like a Gatling gun. As opposed to some of the other ones, yeah, single barrel. So very cool. Definitely like the look of these. Man, I really have to say the new range is just absolutely amazing. Cities of Sigmar models have been just out of this world. All right, so that was a super quick video. Obviously, probably going to get a lot more from these still shots. Free Guild Fusiliers are not a type of corkscrew Pascha from Azir. They are the gunners of the cities of Sigmar. Hunkered down behind sturdy hardwood pavises, disciplined and steely-eyed, these dutiful gunners can unleash up to three volleys within a minute at the command of a competent fusil sergeant. So I'm assuming that the sergeant is the one with the three and then each other one has like the regular. That's awesome too. They have like the little bayonet on the end as well. Yeah, these are just absolutely beautiful models. I'm definitely a huge fan of these. It's got like the big old torch right here. Very, very unique looking faces on them. The helmets look awesome. And then also we see like quite a few bear heads. I like the chains kind of hanging down underneath there as well. Really, really cool models. Yeah, I'm definitely a huge fan of these. I'm going to be picking some of these up for sure. Oh, so wait, maybe this is the sergeant. He looks a little bit more fancy. So this is probably who's leading it. And then there must be like one special weapon maybe. Uh, very, very cool. Or I guess that realistically could just be the standard and this is the sergeant. That would make more sense. Yeah, these models are just out of this world. Absolutely stunning. I'm just loving the Cities of Sigmar stuff. It just really shows you, I mean, there was some cool stuff in the range already, but just relative to the new stuff coming out, I mean, this stuff is just next level. Yeah, and I love the different paint jobs also. These thundering reports cut down charging orcs by the dozen. Handy, considering the gear leaves them little melee defense. Against demons, geists, and other ungodly abominations, they use shot inscribed with sigils or blessed by life water. They fly their banners high, as much a memento mori as a rallying standard, reminding themselves that death is just one missed shot away. Just like the fusil majors of Ogor Warhok, free guild fusiliers fortify their positions with their pavises, digging in and effectively becoming a fortress battlement transposed onto the battlefield. From here they fire salvo after salvo into enemy ranks, reloading with mechanical efficiency. So yeah, I just absolutely love the different color schemes and paint jobs. Like the black with like more natural wood looks really good. It's got nice little like weathering and everything. I do like that there's space on a lot of this stuff for the transfers because we've already seen there's some awesome transfer sheets as well. Tons of diversity with the helmets, like open faces, complete exposed heads or like helmets with the uh, little like flap down. Very, very cool. And then here we see it one more time. Yeah, I mean, just all the like little details and everything are just absolutely amazing on these. Very, very cool. None of this would be possible without the dedication of the Black Powder Squires. Slight and nimble, these runners never stop moving, providing fresh ammunition and powder to the Fusilier line, ensuring it performs at peak performance. A well-timed resupply run allows a unit to reroll hit rolls once per battle, ensuring that only devastation and twitching corpses are left lying in the dirt before them. So we see the Free Guild Fusiliers Resupply Run. Once per battle at the start of your shooting phase in the third or subsequent battle rounds, you can say that this unit will be resupplied by its Black Powder Squire. If you do so, you can reroll hit rolls for attacks made with the missile weapons by this unit until the end of that phase. So it's once per battle, and it has to be in the third or subsequent battle rounds. So in the first two rounds, you can't use this ability. It'd probably just be a little too strong. You got to give your opponent the ability to get at them before you get the reroll hits. These handy hand gunners are an indispensable part of the Cities of Sigmar army, supporting free guild cavaliers and steel helms from a distance. The Cities of Sigmar army set will be your first opportunity to start a Dongbarrier Crusade force or garrison army from one of the many valiant cities of the mortal realms. 
but keep checking Warhammer community for more news from the mortals who make up the realms. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. So yeah, I can say without a doubt, I will definitely be picking these up. I absolutely love the new models for Cities of Sigmar, in case you can't tell by my excitement. Uh, the new box set looks absolutely amazing. I am loving the riders, the knights. And then these guys look absolutely awesome as well. And ranged attacks shooting is definitely important in Age of Sigmar. We see some armies are like real strong in it and others are weak. And then some are kind of in the middle. I think it's important to have some kind of shooting, especially with this new season and magic is going to be very powerful. And depending on how the rules change and everything, I haven't actually picked up the new book. Uh, but the ability to essentially like snipe characters again uh, could be very strong. And from what I've seen, that's going to be a thing. So very, very cool. Uh, regardless of what the stats are on these guys, I will definitely be picking them up. I'm really just looking forward to starting up a new army for Sigmar and uh, all the new models to go along with it. Whenever they put out a new army and like every model is new and there's like that level of excitement, I feel like it's never higher than that like initial point. So for me, that's like when I would like to start collecting or building an army. Uh, you're excited for all the new models. You haven't really gotten to see them necessarily in person yet. You have the opportunity to paint something, you know, for the first time and really just get intimate with the models. I think that's something that a lot of times I've noticed is when you see pictures on the internet or you see someone else's models, you don't always pick up on like all the cool little details and all the effort that actually went into the sculpts. And for me, I do love the game and gaming is definitely fun. Uh, but the actual like models, painting, building, and appreciating someone else's like artwork is definitely a huge thing for me. And I think that's why when I was younger, I was all about playing and that was the most important thing. And the painting and the hobbying was like fun and it was okay, but it was sort of like the means to the end. But I feel like now as I've gotten older, I really enjoy the actual hobby itself so much more. Gaming is fun and everything like that. But I think proportionately, if you're into Warhammer and you actually like appreciate your models and do a decent paint job on them, I think most people will find that they spend like 95% of the time doing like actual hobby stuff and only really like 5 or 10% of the time doing like gaming. And I know it's not like that for everyone. Some people have different views on like the gaming versus the hobbying aspect. But for me, definitely like the actual painting, the models, the appreciation that goes into them is so much more important than the actual like gaming elements. I know I'm going to have fun regardless of if my unit is really good in game terms or not because they look awesome and I really enjoy the army or I wouldn't be playing them. So as always, let me know what you think down below. Absolutely loving these guys. I'd like to hear your opinions as well. Who else is uh, starting to lean towards that Cities of Sigmar army? Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check them out to save 15%. Link in the description. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And I am loving the Cities of Sigmar. And I'm out of here.